Hello guys and uh, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video on the uh, this will be part two of the teardown for the uh, little blue ZX engine as you can see I'm in my shed so um, we'll be doing another time-lapse uh, video on tearing down the engine and this will be all the bottom end removal and we will get the pistons out today to have a closer inspection of the con rods so um, without further ado we'll um, get you set up on try on the tripod now and we'll get cracking with this video so um, I'll do that now then
So guys, this is where we stand. The engine is complete bare block now. I have put the um, camshaft uh, braces back in place temporarily. I will be getting this all completely cleaned, cleaned up off of camera and um, getting it ready for the rebuild. But there is nothing left bolted to it, nothing left I can show you taking off. Um, so it's now ready for its clean up and put back together sort of thing. There's the um, the sump camshaft. I've done a little inspection on it. It don't look too bad. It looks like it's okay. But as you guys know, I've got a parts engine that I've already torn apart. So I can use whatever I feel is broken as I see fit. And I will be checking tolerances and... I don't know what the tolerances are going to be, but and I do have the trusty Haynes manual indoors to kind of check all that. You may, however, notice that the four pistons from the parts engine that was sitting there are temporarily moved, and that's because I've set something up for you guys as a visual, uh, a visual notification, basically. So this engine was in the blue car. It was smoking like a steam train, very underpowered would barely move and struggled to start yes it struggled to start because the battery was flat but it struggled to start even with a good battery on it so here we are four pistons from the parts engine and you can clearly see that they're all sitting there against this bit of wood for alignment perfectly orientated perfectly straight and nothing wrong with them now that same bit of wood goes down to the end of my workbench and you will see I'm not giving it away just yet you will see that they're all completely lined up and touching the bit of wood all facing the same way round with their little divots uh, for the, um, the divots on the piston head for um, the valve clearances all on the this outer side towards the edge of my bench so, like I said, that's the four good pistons from my parts engine, which had a head gasket issue. This is the four pistons from my broken engine. And it doesn't take a mechanic to see that there's clearly something not right there. And what we'll see is, if I can get that to focus a bit better, that one's nice and straight for piston one. Piston two is kinked. Piston 3 is kinked the other way, and Piston 4 looks quite true as well. So if I zoom right out, you will see from like a bird's eye view that Piston 1 and Piston 4 is in a very similar orientation to the other four pistons. So I would believe, again they need to be checked, but I would believe they are relatively straight and true, piston one and four. But as you can see from the ones that are relatively straight and true, overhead view of the good pistons, how they're all perfectly aligned, overhead of the broken piston, uh, broken camera, camshaft, uh, camshafts, rocker, no. Oh, uh, 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 crank, uh, one minute, I've, my brain's gone completely dead. Uh, so basically, these bits, broken with these. So. Now my brain's woken up. Yes, you'll see that they've got the bent con rods. As it was suspected in part one, I suspected broken con rods. And I had also had a bit of a heads up from the guys on the Citroen forum that they do tend to bend con rods. But like I said, I'm not overly worried because when I put this engine together, it's going to have all new bottom end shims, all new bottom bearings, all new seals, all new gaskets, all new everything. The engine is going to be rebuilt to the same spec as it left the factory with all good parts and with all the tolerances and all the gaps checked with my feeler gauges if needed and my I've got a some vernier calipers i'll be checking everything and making sure everything is in top form for um, when it goes back together and all the torque settings and everything so guys before i end this video there's a little bit of good news and a little bit of uh, not so good news i'm afraid now 
as much as I like making content on YouTube and I absolutely love doing the videos and I know a lot of you are enjoying watching my videos um, unfortunately due to coronavirus uh, pandemic and the UK currently being all in complete lockdown and non-essential stores are open and like car parts places and scrapyards and all that lot and getting parts locally is next to impossible getting parts locally for my car is even more impossible um, when it comes to ordering parts I'm gonna have to potentially order online a lot of which is gonna have to come from Poland all the borders are currently closed and I can't see me getting any parts anytime soon plus also due to the fact of me currently not able to work or earn any money of any kind and I'm struggling financially um, with debts and all sorts um, actually getting the money together for the parts I need is um, pretty much tricky as well so as far as uh, content on YouTube regarding the engine is concerned that is gonna be temporarily put on hold now this is part two and so for now the final part I will however off camera clean it all up get it all prepped and ready to be put together but I need to I need so many different parts like I said I need the bottom end shims I need bottom seals I need head gasket kit I need head bolts I need timing belt kit the list goes on um, and I also need assembly lubrication I may however do a tear down video on the head but at the same thing the reason why I'm not going to do a tear down video on the head is because there's all the little uh, valve shims and valve uh, valve springs valve seats the valves itself i want to be able to take that apart being uh, quite a bit more in depth and a bit more intricate than what the actual engine itself is i want to be able to take that apart pretty much not long before i put it back together so um actual tear down of the head itself where i said about cutting in the valves and regrinding them in and cleaning all that up might be another video for YouTube, but it won't be here yet, I'm afraid. But on the lighter side, and on the good news side, there is still going to be content coming. And there is still going to be content coming for the little blue ZX as well, because I've got all the interior to remove. I've got all the uh, replacement interior to go back. The dashboard itself needs some repairs doing to it. And um, I just need to go through it basically and make sure everything's all good and see if I can get some carpet again there's still bits I need but at the moment there's still content to be made because worst case scenario I could do a little bit more on the polo or I could do a little bit more on the bilingo um, because I still however want to do uh, an aerial on the po on the bilingo sorry I may do an aerial and some speakers on the polo um, but I also have another little thing coming up for the polo, which I'm not going to tell you guys yet. But let's just say old school polo with windy windows and no central locking is starting to become a little bit annoying. But other than that, it drives lovely. So there may be a few more things coming for the polo yet. But anyway, enough of me um, boring you to death with just talking because it's a car content channel and um, this is mainly about what i do with the cars so um what i'll say is if you like my content give us a comment or give us a thumbs up um if you um subscribe to the channel remember to ring the little bell icon so you get notified of any content any extra content that i upload as it uploads uh if you want to know what i get up to throughout the day as like a little sneak preview before the video comes out you can follow me on uh, instagram and my Instagram is the same as my YouTube name, which is uh, the ZX guy. So, um, yeah, like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to ring the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye for now.